Hey yo, Pioneers, Nemo Ashong here, and I just got done a wonderful conversation, there it is, with uh, Ruby Freeman, uh, where we were just talking about really showing up unapologetically and creating space in your world as a leader. The podcast is going to be coming out soon, and when it does, I'll make sure to share it with all of you. But the reason that I wanted to jump on this video is because she said something to me. She said, Nemo, in the past six months since we've known each other, I've really noticed a shift in you. you you're more confident in what you're saying. You're more collected. You are more clear on what you're bringing to life. And your language and your presence reflects that. I'm paraphrasing. This might be a bit of what I heard in my mind, but this is it was a general sentiment that came across. And the thing that came for me when she, when she said this was, thank you. And in my mind, I was like, Everything that I've said today was everything that I believed six months ago when we met. The difference now, though, is that back when we met, I was talking in circles. I was looking for her to give some type of approval of it. I was trying to see, hey, do you, do you get what I'm going for? Do you think this is a good idea? I think this is where I want to be, so on and so forth. So essentially, I was seeking for permission. I was seeking her approval. I was seeking a lot of people's approval at that time because I knew that the vision of what I had for enjoyment was so powerful and so strong to me, but not something that I was sure that other people would be able to understand. I'm not sure that other people would, would even want. At the end of it there, for you and for all of us pioneers out here, we have a vision and a mission that we're on whether it's within our teams and helping us to reach the goals that we've set for the quarter or for the year, whether it's the way that we show up as a leader and the way that we view ourselves as a leader within our organizations, within our family, or whether it's in the way that we are creating products for our, our clients and enrolling them in sales to come and take on a new product with us. All throughout our, our jobs as leaders, we're consistently enrolling people into our visions. And I'll give you a little hint. We're consistently enrolling people to see their vision through our vision, or to make their vision come to life through our vision. And it feels a lot of times as though the end result is just to get them to be enrolled, get, to, get them to pay, get, to get them to join. Instead, I'm gonna offer that there are several different steps along the way when it comes to enrolling someone in your vision. And the first and probably most important step of them all is enrolling yourself in the vision. Giving yourself the permission to say, yes, this vision can come to life. So I wanna to speak to that a little bit here today. I wanted to really call that out and give you some examples or some ways to like look at it and say for yourself, where are the parts of my vision? Where are the things that I'm doing that I'm still looking for approval on? And I want to just distinguish approval and seeking permission versus buy-in. Buy-in, when I look at buy-in, it's around the act of getting consensus around uh, an idea or creating a shared vision together. And that there, that there's an active stance in there. It's this is this is the direction that we're heading. What would you need? What what wouldn't you would you need, what wouldn't you need? There we go. Uh, this is the problem that we're that we're solving. This is the possibility that we're creating. And I want to make sure I get your input in there to help make sure that this is a success. I distinguish that from permission. And permission is, hey, I think I want to get this done. Would love to get your thoughts as to whether or not this is a good idea or not. You know, permission in is when you put out an idea as though you want to get it done and then you take it back at the end with some kind of uh, dismissive comment like, yeah, you know, I mean, that's just my thoughts. I'm not necessarily sure if, if, if it would work or not, but I'd love to get your, your thoughts on this or yeah, anyways, yeah, anyways, I don't know. It just came up to me in the moment. Something there that ends up removing the power that you that you actually have and taking away your, your, your ability to validate yourself. And this is an important thing here. The reason that this is so important is that for other people to catch your vision, for other people to enroll into your vision, they have to know that you yourself are committed. And if you're waiting on others to give you that external validation, sometimes it will happen. Sometimes you'll have uh, a manager or a leader who believes in you enough to just say, oh yeah, go with it, run with it. 
But even that is reliant on someone else and it takes away your ability to fully step into your own levels of creating your vision. If you yourself do not believe enough in your vision, then how can you get other people to do the same? So I wanna talk a little bit here, like when I think about it, around what some of the benefits are when it comes to really giving yourself permission. I think the, the, the biggest one for me is that it allows you to continue to create what you want. It allows others to know that they can follow you and know that in doing so, there's a commitment. You at least believe what, what's out there. And this is not a fake, there's not a fake level of belief in it. You've gotten to a place where you're like, I actually give myself the permission to make this come to life. You know what, it's a big goal. I give myself the permission to really be with it. Um, and it gives them some space to know like, okay, it's a good decision to, to, to follow you here. I can put in extra time. I can give you my money. I can give you my time and attention. But it gives them the way of knowing that, okay, this is a good use of my time, the good use of my energy. You also find that uh, another benefit here, I find is that they get a chance to really experience bringing their vision to life through your vision gives them a chance to say, okay, now since, since this person has given themselves permission, I'm gonna go ahead and actually act on this. And I wonder what it's like for me to give myself permission. So we get a little bit of a multiplier effect. This is how we can help things to be, to be exponential. I'm gonna wrap this up here with helping you like look into some ways that you yourself can give yourself permission. And I also think I wanna talk this a little bit about permission in others, and both of them are, are important. So when it comes to you yourself being able to give yourself permission, it's one thing for me to say, give yourself permission. It sounds fun. Uh, but at the same time, I also know from personal experience that it is a very difficult thing to do. So what I've found when it comes to the permission aspect is that it really comes down to your truth. At, because you are a visionary leader, there are a lot of things that you're gonna do that most other people may not actually see as being possible, or they may not know the exact step-by-step -step process that they can get, they can get uh, and use to make that come to life. And that's scary. It's scary to, to be in that place of uncertainty. And so your truth is an amazing tool that you can use to help you navigate that uncertainty. And it's not speaking the truth, but speaking your truth. So own in your truth, own in that. For me, in, in terms of the, the difference in the last six months is that I know that I speak to pioneers. I know that the people that I'm, I'm working with are out there looking for ways to leverage their unique, inclusive, and powerful leadership style out in the world. And because of that, I'm able to come and talk to you directly. I'm owning my truth in here. The second part of it then is then speaking your truth. So this, I, I would look at this as the difference between I want and I am. I want to help people to accomplish, um, let's see, I'll just use myself here as an example. I want to inspire people to, actually not even inspire, I want to uh, transform the way that people look at leadership and to really show up fully in their world versus I am leading a community of pioneers who fundamentally have transformed what the future of leadership looks like and choose to do it in a way by showing up powerfully, authentically, and uniquely as themselves. That, that shift between I want and I am is a wonderful way to give you, give you permission and then invites the person to now go on and take the next steps with you, the next steps forward with you. There is one thing that I want to, so I talk about owning, owning your truth, speaking your truth, and then acting on your truth. That last part is really important. Just taking the first step, making those first steps to uh, move yourself forward with it. For me here, I'll say in this, this moment right now, it's in creating a video right here, or in, in the conversation with Ruby, it's coming forth, speaking on it, and then acting forth with it in terms of the way that I was being. Was I willing to go myself and to be unique uh, to be powerful and to be authentic in that conversation. There was a congruence that took place there that allowed for all the permission in to take place. I know because I am. 
So let's end this here with just one other thing here around around permission, and I think this is around permission in others. So given your role, given the things that you do, uh, you you're a leader, and one of the number one roles of a leader is to create other leaders. So I want to just caution you against using permission as a way to um, to empower other leaders or to uh, to to how do I say it? To almost give them the space by giving them the permission. And I'll make another video about this because it feels like a longer uh, video here. But I wanna caution you against that because it ends up actually being quite disempowering. It reinforces their uh, drive and desire to have external validation. It tells them whether, whether even if everything you're saying to them is, I 100% believe in you, it tells them, or I agree, like I agree with this or I disagree and all that. It tells them that they need your opinion first. They need your approval first. So I want to just put that out there as you yourself are going through your own personal areas of saying, where can I bring in more permission in for me? What am I holding out on? And what am I waiting for other people to give me permission on? Giving yourself the space not to give that same permission to others and to allow them to come to that permission on their own. And we'll talk about this in another video about how you can help others uh, come to their own levels of permission. Because as a leader, that's what you need, especially in this dynamic world where things are changing on a regular basis, where you're working with uh, people who are thinking and not just executing. To be able to have them be able to take action as a leader of their own domain is incredibly important. So we'll, we'll take a look at that uh, that that second portion about how you can help others get permission for themselves uh, in a future video. Until then though, I'm Nemo Ashong and I'm the pioneer leader of the World Joy Movement. We were just now talking about how important it is for you to really enroll other people in your visions by starting with giving yourself the permission first to believe in that vision, to, bring, to know that you can bring that vision to life. I'd love to hear from you and see what your thoughts are about this. Go ahead and leave a comment, leave a leave a thumbs up, thumbs down. I don't really care. I just want to just see. Let's let's start up and continue this conversation around uh, really enrolling other people into your vision and taking that first step with enrolling yourself in it first. All right, wherever you are, I'd love to see your comments and I'll come back here and I'll I'll comment as well. Here's to your continued success journey on.